The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. In this demo, we're going to illustrate the basic use of a quarter wave plate. And as we know, a quarter wave plate is used to change the state of polarization of light from plane polarized, for example, to elliptical and under certain conditions to circular polarized light. So we'd like to do that using, using this setup. We have a, a laser, a helium neon laser. And here's the beam from the laser. We're going to reflect it through this mirror and then reflect it again through a second mirror. And then we pass it through this uh, polarizer. And the, the beam coming out of the, through the polarizer then hits the, hits the screen. This polarizer, the transmission axis of which is shown by the white arrow, sets the state of polarization of the light here in this region. No matter what the state of polarization is before the light reaches the polarizer, the polarizer then will clean it up and set it uh, according to the transmission axis. And right now, the transmission axis is along the uh, vertical as shown by the uh, white arrow. But just to check this, we will use the analyzer, which is another polarizer, and we place it over here. The White arrow is along the vertical direction and labels the transmission axis of this polarizer. So let's see indeed whether the light here is plane polarized. So I'm going to rotate the analyzer and see if I can extinguish the light. Now, what I would like to do is, is uh, look at this uh, extinguishing of the light more closely in, a, uh, in, the, in the bottom left-hand corner, which is a close-up of, of what you see on the screen. And here, you can see that, that the extinguishing is pretty complete, which shows that, indeed, the light in this region is, uh, is plain polarized. So let me set the analyzer back so that we're transmitting uh, the maximum intensity, which means the transmission axis is lined up with the transmission axis of this polarizer. Now we're ready to bring in the quarter wave plate. Here's the quarter wave plate. I'm going to place it in this position, secure it. Now, this quarter wave plate has, as we know, has two principal axes. One of them is labeled by the white arrow here. And, uh, and again, we know that when light, when this light is propagated along the principal axis of the quarter wave plate, there is no change in the polarization, just like a piece of glass. Uh, let's check that. So we take the analyzer again, and we rotate the analyzer to see, indeed, whether the light is plane polarized. And as you can see, maybe I didn't get the labeling here, but as you can see, the light is, is pretty close to plane polarized. Now, we know that there are two principal axes, so let's turn the arrow to 90 degrees and show the fact that when light propagates along the other principal axis, the, the light here is again plane polarized, which means it cannot get, get past this polarizer when the transmission axis is orthogonal to the initial polarization set by this polarizer. So now we've established that, indeed, when we propagate along principal axes of the quarter wave plate, nothing happens to the light. It just stays plain polarized. Now we're going to demonstrate the actual use of a quarter wave plate, which, which changes, for example, in this case, from plain, changes the state of polarization from plain polarized light to elliptical, depending on the, the angular position that we, that we set the quarter wave plate at. OK, so let's start with a very small angle away from, uh, from the principal axis. 
And, and now we want to look at the intensity on the screen and also in the insert uh, to see whether the light, first of all, whether the light gets extinguished and also watch the intensity as I, as I rotate my analyzer. Now you can see the minimum is around here. It's not zero and the maximum is around here which shows that the light is elliptically polarized, certainly not plane polarized as it was before. Now, if you want circular polarization, we have to rotate the quarter wave plate to about 45 degrees from one of the principal axes. And if the light is indeed circularly polarized, then we, would, we wouldn't see any change in intensity as we rotate the transmission axis of the analyzer. And let's see if, if we got this close. Now you can see as I'm rotating the, uh, the analyzer, you can see that the intensity on the screen doesn't change all that much, which shows that the light is circularly polarized. In summary, we've shown that a quarter wave plate can change the state of polarization of light. In particular, we've demonstrated that if plane polarized light is incident on the quarter wave plate and the quarter wave plate is oriented appropriately, we can get elliptically polarized light. If the quarter wave plate is oriented at 45 degrees with respect to the state of polarization of the light, then we can get circularly polarized light. 